The 4262 oscilloscope is a dual channel high vertical accuracy measurement instrument. It has 16 bit uh, digitizers which give a very high accuracy in the vertical plane and this makes it very useful for audio measurements. But it still has a lot of general purpose diagnostic tools which again make it very useful for fault finding in audio systems. In this video we're going to look at an example of using the uh, diagnostic tools and the measurement tools to find a fault on a stereo audio amplifier. The current display panel has four views and these are selectable in the views menu and we can select the number of viewports and then move the individual displays to the required viewport. So in the current uh, layout we have the channel A and channel B of the stereo amplifier on the left hand side and these are the uh, time display modes and on the right hand side again we have the channel A and channel B of the stereo amplifier and this is the spectrum mode. So here we're looking at the amplitude against frequency of the signal. So this is a, in fact a one kilohertz signal which is being generated in the internal generator, in fact it's generating a sine wave at one kilohertz, uh, other waveforms are available. And then the signal is being applied to the auxiliary input of channel A and B of the amplifier. The output is being uh, developed across a 15 ohm load and then acquired with a times 10 probe. So on channel A here we have a, a times 10 probe, other probe factors are available and the vertical scale factor here now is 20 volts through division and similarly on channel B uh, we have a, uh, a times 10 probe connected. So we can uh, select each panel and then it is highlighted and we can control each individual panel. So if we control the first panel here we can then step through the memory and look at the individual cycles. Because the memory length selected is 100,000 samples and this has been chosen to give enough resolution in the frequency domain to resolve each component of the input signal. If we require to look at the whole memory, we can close the uh, zoom factor and here now we see the whole uh, 100,000 samples. Or we can again zoom back in and uh, increase the zoom factor and look at the individual sample. So here we have a zoom factor in factor of 512 on both channels. We're now going to increase the gain of the amplifier and drive the uh, channel B in fact into a distortion. So I'm increasing the gain on the amplifier and now we can see the power across the uh, 15 ohm loads increasing and eventually now we've driven the uh, channel B into distortion. This is in fact a bias fault on the output amplifier of channel B. So here we can actually see it in the time domain that there is a problem and obviously we can see it to, in the uh, spectrum mode here on channel A the uh, harmonics are down uh, to minus 71 dBs but in on channel B they're only down at minus 23 dB so we're getting a lot of measurement capability here to find that problem. Uh, there are more measurements available on each uh, view so if I again select the spectrum view uh, we could add a measurement to that view so the signal is coming from source A and if I wanted to measure say the amplitude at the peak I could add that as a, a measurement so here we see the measurement at peak is 18 dBs. If we want to remove the measurement we can select the measurement and delete that measurement. So each individual view can be set up as required. I'm now going to decrease the gain slightly on the amplifier and take it out of the distortion area so it's operating more in the linear area. So at this point the channel A and channel B look clean but if we look in the spectrum mode uh, A is still very clean it's minus 84 dBs down the uh, harmonics but in the B channel it's still only minus 58 dB so we're starting to see some distortion already so this instrument can very accurately measure audio signals and look for very low uh, levels of distortion uh, 